Hi everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to use ClickUp, which is one of the best project management software tools out there. In terms of pricing, it is available to use for free of cost forever. But again, you have some limitations and then you have different packages that you can take a look at and select the one of your liking. In today's video, I'm going to use uh, their free plan and show you how to navigate around it. Then you're going to name your workspace. So I'll just put that as stage workspace. I'll click next. You can customize your workspace avatar. So you can drop an image over here or you can select a color and go about that so i'll stick to the orange color i'm happy so far then i'm going to select my color theme i'll stick to orange as well and how many people will you be working with so i'll just put that as just me for now how do you want to start using clickup so i'll be using clickup for marketing reasons and i'll click next how did you hear about us i'll put that as youtube um did you use any of these project management tools before so we have used monday.com so i'll select that i'll click i'm done and I'm going to click play with ClickUp so I can access the interface. All right, so you are officially in the workspace and this is what your interface would look like. You also have a checklist over here, which you can follow around to get yourself set up and get started. But essentially, you're going to have spaces over here. So when I click a new space, I can give it a different name. So let's say this is the space where I put all the details about a project one or maybe like client one so i'll put this as client one and i'll click next and i can also select the color over here and i can make this workspace public or private based on my liking and i can add a different template based on what i am looking for the other thing you can do is just go back and just click templates over here and you have access to like multiple templates that you can browse take a look um, to get started so for example let's say I'm working on my first client and this workspace is specifically dedicated to him. And essentially what we do is work on, you know, a little bit of social media marketing. So I'm going to go over here and I'll type social media marketing. And over here, I can take a look at a template that is already in works for us. You can add this to the library or you can use this template as well. It includes eight status groups, 12 click apps, and three view types. Now, let's say you work probably in SEO and with this client, you want your board to be set up in a way that you have all the components that you would need when it comes to handling the project from optimization perspective. So I'll take a look at this over here and I can click use template. Now we're gonna give this a space a name. So I'll put this as client one SEO and you can import everything or you can customize whatever items you want to import into this space i'll click import everything and you can also set up the project dates um, and if you want to include any sort of archive task you can make those adjustments and i'll click use template and yeah as you can see we have created this space for client one where we just work in seo i'm actually gonna rename it because i think i made an error and i'll click save and we have got folders under which we have all these tasks listed for us so for instance when we go to seo audit you're going to come over here and you're going to see all the line items that have been already created for us so all we got to do is go in make those changes and update it so we have website seo audits uh we got the assignee tab over here you, which you can use to assign a person who is working on it you can set the status as in progress review client review or completed you can also set the priority uh, aspect of it over here you can select the start date over here you can select the due date um, you can also give your client a name you can add their phone number email address the budget that has been allocated for it the website any sort of comments so a lot of fun stuff that will be quite useful when it comes to handling the seo part of project management and yeah this is just like a great example it gives you a head start instead of building everything from scratch so we have the keyword research tab over here so you can see some of the random tasks listed over here that says keyword map find affiliate keywords at scale to do we got the status set over here as well so really fun and easy way to get started or the other thing you can do is when I go under the team space and I go under project two, I can create this board from scratch. So let's say if I am working on a social media strategy, so I can go in over here 
and I can give this task a name and I can call this as social media strategy. You can also write a little note over here and you can also create subtask. So the subtask for this project itself would be to brief the team and you can also add any sort of documents or briefing documents. You can attach it on this section. You can go over here and track time um, as to see how much hours you're spending on a particular project or a particular task. You can go over here and assign a certain people that will be working on this project. Um, you can go over here and set the due date as well and you can click close. If you have any comments, you can leave them over here as well. So for example, if I want to leave a comment for one of my team member, which is basically me for this example, I can be like, hey, let me know if you have any questions and I can click comment. So that way they will be notified when it comes to this project. And I can go over here and set the status as well. So I'll put this as in progress. So now I'm gonna close this and over here you can see our task is listed and now everybody in your team can manage it accordingly. The other thing I wanna show you guys is when I click this over here, I can click settings and I can create custom statuses as well. So if I want to add another status that says um, canceled, I can just type it out over here. I can actually select the color as well and I can click save. And now when I click this, we have the canceled status over here um, as a part of our list as well. You can also click over here and add customized columns based on what you need. So let's say I wanna add another column where I can upload all the files relevant to that specific project. So I can click file type and I can select files and I'll put this as downloadable material and I'll click add column. So anybody who's working on this project, they can click over here and upload a file from the computer. So it just makes it uh, a lot more handier to organize multiple things that you're working on on one interface. So this is like the basics of ClickUp. This is something that you're going to be using extensively um, when it comes to handling projects. If you know this basic step, I think you're pretty much sorted because rest of the um, elements that they have in this platform uh, can be played around with and explored but this is at least the fundamentals that will help you um, get started when you click the boards section over here you're going to see where all the tasks are in context to their status so you can see that task three is in our to-do list the strategy creation is in progress and once that is done you can actually take it and drop it under a certain tab. So let's say if this is canceled, so I just dropped it over here. So this gives like a nice holistic view of the space. We also have calendars, which is where you can see what is upcoming. So we have social media strategy creation, which is due on this Friday. So really interesting stuff. We have Gantt chats as well, if you want to have that view. Um, not really a fan of Gantt chats, but just a nice tool and a feature to have when it comes to project management. Um, and you can also have tasks listed over here in a table format, which is pretty cool. And if you want to view this board in a different format, you can click view and you can go over here and select any sort of versions or layouts that you would like to see. So if I wanna see timeline, I can click add timeline. And over here, I can see all the tasks listed um, based on a specific date or time and I can scroll this bar and make those adjustments. Now the other thing I want to show you guys actually I should have shown it in the beginning is that you can also rename this aspect so you can just click rename and then add your title over here. Now the next thing I want to show you guys is your home page which is where you're going to see all the projects that you're working on, what is due, what is upcoming, you can also see your calendar so a really nice way to get organized. You also have the notification tab where you're going to see um, any sort of notifications relevant to your task on this section. Uh, we also have dashboards, which is where you can create your own private dashboards for organizational purpose. So if I click add a dashboard, I can go over here and either select a template or I can create a custom dashboard. Uh, one of the dashboards that are really useful would be uh, maybe like a simple dashboard for your organizational purpose. So I can select that and then I can also select the location and I can click apply. And over here, you're going to see all the tasks that are listed on this section. And I can also click add card and add a certain element that I want to see in this dashboard. So let's say I want to see how is the workload of my team right now. Um, so let's say I want to see what is 
the status of all the projects but I want to see that in the form of a pie chart. So I'm going to go over here, select status, click workload by status, select the location. So I'll select both of them. And I would like to include subtask as well. So I'll select that and I'll click add card. So over here, if I click full screen, I can see what projects I'm working on, what has not started, what is currently with review. And yeah, this also gives me a nice view of what's going on and how I can optimize my overall project management. We also have documents tab over here, which you can use to produce a document. So if you are, uh, you know, maybe writing a brief or maybe just a word document, you can actually use this tab over here, add your title, write your content and link it to a certain task. So that's a really handy feature as well. Let's say if I'm briefing a creative team um, and I want to have all the information relevant to that project on this page, I can produce this document and send it over to them. So it is a really nice way to stay organized and to keep your teams well informed as well. Once you have this sorted, everything else is quite easy to figure out. So yeah, just play around and I'm sure you'll figure it out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like, comment, or subscribe to this channel to support us. Um, and I shall see you guys in my next one. Till then, take care. Bye now.